I want to start this with some good news. Don't worry, this video is not damage control. All of this, all of this, is proactive. I'm saying something because I want to, but really because I feel like I need to. And yes, it really sucks that this is the first video out of the gate in over half a year. 2020 has been really rough. You may be able to guess where this is going, and you're probably right. If you go online and you like Harry Potter, like me, you may already know that the creator of the series has basically outed herself as a panicked, pearl-clutching, transphobic bigot. She's had baggage for a while, so this didn't come out of nowhere, but in June 2020, she brought it to the forefront of her online presence. I never saw Joanne as, like, a personal hero, but she did make one of my favorite things in the world. Separate the art from the artist? Yeah, man. Go ahead and do that, because I can't. Whenever I'm playing a game, watching a movie, or listening to a song, like half the time, I am thinking what the artist was thinking. What did they mean by this? Why did they make these choices? What informed their decisions here? It's just how I'm wired. And it's also why I would be a pretty awful English teacher. <laughs> anyway, if you know this channel at all, you might know that I've done a whole series covering Harry Potter video games released on Nintendo's Game Boy family of systems. See, this channel does a lot of different things. It covers a lot of different avenues, because it's me. I'm not simply into one thing, I like a lot of different things. And yet, I would say that Harry Potter on Game Boy is this channel's signature series. The closest thing a channel as small as this can have to a signature series anyway. You can find video essays about actors elsewhere, you can find videos about Watchmen like everywhere, but you'll never find a series that covers these games anywhere else on YouTube. So this channel, insignificant though it is, and I know it's insignificant, I'm not, I'm not having any delusions of grandeur, this is a very small channel, it is defined at least partially by Harry Potter content. And that's probably why this is all weighing on me so much. I'm trapped in a bind. I know that this channel is small, it's tiny, and anything I say or do is pretty much inconsequential across the board. And yet I, I can't stay silent. I have to do something. I can't deplatform Joanne or, 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 or take away any of her power or <sighs> cancel her. But I gotta say something. And if I'm gonna say something, the people that need to hear it the most deserve more than just like a Twitter thread or a community post. Harry Potter on Game Boy is not a popular series of videos, but it is the most appreciated thing on my channel. The numbers don't lie. People like it a lot. And at one point, the only motivation I had for actually finishing it was because of people voicing their enthusiasm for it in the comments. And, and don't get me wrong, I like this series too, I'm very proud of it. Yeah, it's like a celebration of Harry Potter, but mainly it was my contribution to the retro video game review scene that I spent so much time in high school watching and enjoying. And even though I was being coy at the end of the Prisoner of Azkaban video, I was eventually going to continue the series. I was going to let it rest a little while and figure out how to reformat stuff, but eventually I was going to cover the PC games and, and the console versions and the Quidditch spinoff, and I just can't anymore. Now look, I think you could argue that in the vast multimedia empire of Harry Potter, video games are the farthest from Joanne's famously huge creative reach. Like, I don't think she's ever cared about the contents of a Harry Potter game. So, separating her from the games is, you could argue, pretty easily. But I just think about doing more of this, doing more of this, and I just feel gross. Like, I'm casting aside so much of what I believe in, of, of what I stand for, just for something as small and innocuous as a YouTube video. Trans people are more important than dumb video game reviews. I know that's somehow a controversial statement to some weirdos on this site, but that's how it goes around here. So in making this decision, 
I feel like I need to apologize to a group of people because I am a man of my word and I'm about to go back on my word. So if you were looking forward to more Harry Potter videos because you enjoyed Harry Potter on Game Boy, I'm sorry, it's just not happening anymore. I know I alluded to it and I can't pretend like I wasn't going to continue it after a while, but I got ahead of myself. That's on me. And it's not fair to you for me to dangle that possibility in front of you and then just never follow up. If you want to unsubscribe because you're disappointed in my decision, fine. Whatever. Just thanks for watching, I guess. But I want to make something clear. I do not apologize to anyone upset that I would stand in solidarity with trans people over making more Harry Potter video game reviews. Those people know where the exit is. Get going and never come back. You know, it's, it's actually not just reviews. I had other videos about Harry Potter in the works too. I actually had a whole actor essay, which is, I guess I, I used to do those, um, that was comparing Michael Gambon and uh, Richard Harris, the two Dumbledores, you know, Duel of the Dumbledores, I called it. And it was, it was in development hell for a while, but it was in progress. I was going to finish it eventually, but nope. Throw it in the trash. It's gone. I even commissioned a portrait of the man himself from uh, my dear, incredibly talented friend, Sydney Elliott. And I don't really want her hard work to go to waste. So because that video is never happening, I'm just going to show you. Here it is. Isn't it great? You can find links to her work in the description below. Please go check her out. She's out of this world. Now that I've gotten through the mud, I'll end on a brighter note. If you're wondering, or if you're worried, about the Harry Potter videos that are already on this channel, don't. They're not going anywhere. I think there's a difference between making informed decisions based on someone's bigotry and letting someone's bigotry control your decisions. I will not let Joanne's foul, bitter, miserable hatred of trans women control the stuff that's already on this channel. The stuff I've already made. The stuff I'm proud of. E even putting aside the fact that we didn't yet know just how bad she'd turn out up until even last year, the videos barely mention her, and the companies in charge of Harry Potter have never received any of the revenue or budget that went into making Harry Potter on Game Boy. Not even the Elder Wand prop, that was a gift. If I could add, like, a disclaimer to the beginning of each video making that and all of this clear, I, I would. A few months ago, I realized I needed to change course on YouTube if I wanted to keep myself motivated. I've still got quite a ways to go before I can show you what I've been working on, but I do have stuff in the works. It just feels like a punch to the gut saying goodbye to the series that kicked this whole thing off. I really hate that this is how it ends, but... It was fun while it lasted, I guess. All right, all right, all right, I'm done. I'm done, I've said my piece. I'm gonna get back to work, and hopefully a new chapter of this channel uh, arrives sooner than you think. To make this as crystal clear as I can, trans rights are human rights, trans men are men, trans non-binary are trans non-binary, and trans women are women. Joanne. I hope we see each other again soon. Stay safe out there.